Ross, you gotta repent, man. Keep them commandments. You gotta get some preaching, man. You gotta start keeping the Sabbath. That's what we gotta do, man. We gotta come back to the Most High. Read that again, brother. Read that. Read. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 33, verse 14. Come on. Good is set against evil. The good is set against evil. So how you trying to integrate with it, man? What fellowship does light have with darkness? Read. Good, huh? And life against death. Come on. So is the godly against the sinner. That's why we against the sinner. The so-called white man is the sinner. We against that devil. Read. And the sinner against the godly. See that? That's why they hate us. They imagine evil against us. The most high ain't gonna let them do nothing. That's right. They don't have nothing coming. They can't do nothing. They can't stop this word, man. They thought they could blackball us. Thought they could get, off, get us off the TV. And that's going to shut us down. And we ain't do nothing but get bigger and multiply. That was it, man. That's it. Read. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 4. Come on. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Now nah, join, integrate, become friends. Proverbs 11, hold hands with the enemy. Read. Now, ah. Uh, Come out of her, my people, Come on. that ye be not partakers of her sin. Don't you don't get caught up in this stuff, man. That you don't become fags. When you join with them, you got to be a homo. Come. Now you got to accept Christmas. Now you got to accept bunnies oh. laying eggs. I hate this priest. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Okay, okay, okay. Whatever. Read. Brother Ed. Come. Yeah. And that you receive not her plague. Hold on. So you, you believe that, brother, that we should be going Easter? Hold on, hold on. Do you believe we should celebrate Christmas or, or, or Thanksgiving? It's a family holiday. It's a family holiday, right? Yeah. Where you, where'd you learn that from? Who told you that? I was raised. And who told who? Whoever raised you, who told them that? My now, you gotta learn that from you see the so called white man program that into your brain. That's why it's a robotic ex yeah, I, uh, response. I, I you didn't even have to think about it. You didn't even have to think about it, did you? You said, yeah, oh, I keep Thanksgiving because that's a family day, right? Yeah, that's what you I, said. Yeah, but I know it's a pagan holiday. So why would you do it if you know it's a pagan holiday? Why would you do that? Are you evil? Little by little. Not everything is evil. No. Pagan is evil. Go back to that Isaiah 1 and 9. I believe that's where it was at. Isaiah 1. See, Shalom. Shalom. But see that? I mean, no, no, Isaiah. That. Hold, on, hold, on. hold on. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. You hold on. Wait. Go back to Isaiah. Brother, give me Isaiah. Um, that, uh, 5 and 20. Isaiah Kinda. 5 and 20. Kinda. Somebody give me that. You said not everything is evil, right? You violating the law, man. That's why you gotta become learned. You gotta learn this truth before you even speak on it. I, if I was you, you know what I would do? I'm like, yo, I don't know nothing, man. I'm coming humble. Just teach me. Teach me so I can learn. That's why the scripture tells us in Sirach, uh, uh, speak not until I have heard the entire matter. That's right. That's why he tells us not to speak on it. But I, I don't know. And so it also tells us, answer a man if we got the answer. But if you don't know, lay your hand over your mouth. You're going to be safe. You're a man of wisdom. Proverbs tell us even a fool is considered wise when he holds his tongue. That's what we got to learn to do that. You see that? This is the integrity that God wants us to walk in. You don't learn all this insanity from the Christian churches and from the society. But everything you learn in hell in America is a lie. And we bring it out. Read that, brother. That's why we're going to speak on it's cool and everything ain't evil. If it's evil... It's evil, and if it's good, it's good. We don't deal with lies on no level. Read that, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Come on. Whoa, until them that... You know, hold on. You know what woe means? When he says woe, you know what he means? Stop. No, not woe don't mean stop. Woe means your ass is about to be destroyed. That do what? Read. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. Saying there's nothing wrong with something that's evil when it is something wrong with it. That's saying something is, that something is good is wicked when it's not wicked. So if you're saying, because I said Thanksgiving, is it okay to thanks, celebrate Thanksgiving? You said, yeah, because it's family day. I said, no, because it's evil. I said, what is the origin of Thanksgiving? Okay, the origin of Thanksgiving is the massacre of the, uh, what they call that, the genocide. Yeah, the, the, the genocide of the Lakotas, the, the genocide of the, the Cheyenne tribe in Colorado. They celebrated Thanksgiving after massacring the Cheyenne. You know the Cheyenne tribe, they had U.S. flags, they was waving flags. Some little girl out there waving a flag and a white flag saying, we don't want no war, we don't want no peace. But there's a guy named John Sugarman. You know what he said? He's the governor of, um, of uh, Colorado. And there's another guy named John Evans. And he was the uh, uh, he was a, a Southern Baptist preacher. You know what this white boy, devil, demon, satanic monster said? You know what this monster Freddy Krueger said? There was no good Indian but a dead Indian. And he wiped them all out. He wiped them 
out and they came to the Thanksgiving. And then we got a Negro in 2019 standing in front of us in the camp telling us the Thanksgiving is good. Do you see the problem, brother? Do you see the problem? That's horrific, man. Do you see the problem? That was a horrible Do you understand the problem? Did that call me in here? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, I understand. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna wait till the third flash and then we continue. Hold on, brother. You ain't go. <laughs> we got a deal. We got a deal. Hold on. Read that. Hey, y'all brothers, come here to order the Lord. Look, well, it's a problem for us to celebrate and be happy and make him merry and come joy listen. and having a joyous time on the back of somebody being slaughtered. This place is defiled by blood, and we celebrate. You understand what the law said about a land that's been defiled by blood? It said the only way to cleanse that land is with blood. So when we get all that slaughter and the massacre, their blood is going to spill. And the Most High said, once we are delivered and we come out of this captivity, then they're going to be, we're going to be doing merrymaking and there's going to be thanksgiving proceeding out of the children of Israel. So now, we in mourning, man. We, we, this is a bad situation. You being hunted and shot, oppressed by the police, and you celebrating America and their achievements. So we come against, we come against thanksgiving because Indians died. Now, let me ask you a question, brother. Let me after after hearing all that, should we be doing Thanksgiving? All oh, praise the Most High God, Yahweh. Come here, Shala. So when they tell you let's come together and celebrate Thanksgiving, tell like, nah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and and protest with the Lakota tribe. Hey, I come here to wear the Lord because the master of their. Come listen. Them a protest. I'm not gonna do that. That's a good brother, man. He humbled out and he, you know, he rejected Satan. He said, I'm not gonna do that. Same thing with Christmas. That's a wicked holiday. Thanksgiving, uh, the bunny egg thing. That's all satanic. What you got, brother? What about to that last person? Let me read that first and get that. Okay, but hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. One thing. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. This is what the white man did. That's why you gave that program robotic response. This is why you did that. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and 22. Come on. Thus says thy Lord, the Lord and thy God that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dogs of the cup of my fume. Thou shalt no more drink it again. No, 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 where you at? Give me the word. Where's that at? You told your soul about that. And, and so that they may go over. Right, right. That's 53. Yeah, I'll find it. I know where it's at, bro. What verse was you on again, brother? No, it's 23, brother. It's like 23, read that. You got to highlight it. <laughs> you should actually jumped out at you, brother. That's, that, that's, that, that, that scripture right there resonated with this brother's spirit. Come on. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 23. That's why we programmed to say it's cool. Come on. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down. They said to your soul, brother. They said to my soul and every other Negro you see running around here, to our soul. They didn't tell our spirit. They didn't just come out and say, yo, bow down. They told our, uh, what they call that, uh, subconsciously, on a subconscious level, yes, I'm your God. master. Bow down, that I may do what? That we may go over. That we may walk all over you. Read. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground. We laid our body down to the ground to the point where they walking all over us. To the point that they're going to say, nigga, we murdered your parents and we're going to have you celebrated. That's right. right. You see the problem? Precept. That's the issue. And you got a precept, brother. Bring it up. He had his first. Let me, let me read that and then we'll get yours. Read that. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Come on. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. It's Thanksgiving and Christmas located in the Bible that the Israelites is doing. 
No, no, man made Halloween. It's not in there. Yeah, it's you ain't, man made You ain't gonna learn it. It's man made. Yeah. Meaning what? That's the ways of the heathen. So God commanded us in his Bible, don't learn those ways, man. That's right. He said, don't learn them. Come on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. That's right. And that's what Christmas is all about. It's all about some, some signs in heaven and winter solstice and all this other stuff. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Are what? Vain. They're what? Vain. They're vain, man. Which uh. means what? It's unprofitable. It's a waste of time. Don't even do it. It's, you're just wasting your time. Come on. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. That sounds familiar, right? What holiday do we know of where they cut the tree down and go to damn Lowe's and um, Home Depot to buy a tree? There you go. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen Come with on. the axe. Read. They deck it with silver and gold. So what holiday do we know they take trees, cut them out of the, cut them out of the forest, set them up for sale at Home Depot, you take it into your house, and you decorate it? Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. When you buy that tree, you got to fasten it, you got to screw those screws in. If you don't put water in it, you're going to catch the damn house on fire. Read. That it moves not. Come on. They are upright as the palm tree. They are upright as the palm tree. And they ain't planted in the ground. That's demonic, diabolical, and satanic, and you worship a Nimrod. That's what you're doing. Uh. That's why we got to reject their holidays, reject Christmas, reject Thanksgiving, and come back to the law of the Lord. You hold on something else? Give me what you got. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. See that? So, it ain't, God ain't blessing America. God is not here. This is Satan's playground. That's right. And our people are following Satan. And it's never going to be right. They can't pay not one dime. Of rep I don't care if they give us billions of reparation. It ain't going to make right what they did. That's they murdered right. our people and they can't buy their way out of it. And he said what? How do we make it right? Read it again. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. This is how we make it right. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defileth the land. America's defiled because they murder Negroes and Native Americans. Come on. And the land cannot be cleansed. There's no way to cleanse this place. You can't make it right. It's wrong forever until what? And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. Come on. But by the blood of him that shed it. So this man's people, he got to get, he got to be put to death That's in right. order for it to be made right. That's what God said in the Bible, and I agree with that. Give me the Isaiah. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, and verse 1. Come, come down and sit in the dust. And that's what's going to happen to these people, man. They're going to come down and sit in the damn dirt. Read. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. It's not Babylon, but it's the daughter of Babylon. They follow all the ways of ancient Babylon. Read. Sit on the ground. Come on. There is no throne. A daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. You ain't gonna call America. God bless America. It's blessed in the greatest place in the world. That's all gonna come to an end, man. Right. That's how it's done with this place. We got the next preset. Psalms 115 and 2, brother. Psalms 115, 2 and 3. Hold up, bro. You said, uh, going back to your Christmas, me and you were talking about the holidays, but now you're saying God don't care about America? This is why God don't care about America. Hold on. Who said God blessed America? The white people, right? They say, God bless America. Somebody give me Zechariah 11 and 5. Let's revisit that. I mean, you that too. Yeah, all people that's destroyed that don't know no better. That's why we're trying to educate you people. We're trying to educate our people so they know better. Because if you know, if you know that stove is hot, if I told you, you touch it anyway, you just the food. That's right. So I'm telling you now. Now you know that stove is hot, so you're going to stay away from it, right? You're going to know that iron is hot, so you're going to touch it. So we don't say America great. We say this is hell, captivity, and, 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 and Babylon. Right. This is Solomon Gomorrah in Egypt. This is prison for the black people, so-called black. Somebody give me Isaiah 42, 22. Read that. Yeah, give me that. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Come on. Whose possessors slay them. Our oppressors do what? Slay them. Like Trayvon Martin. And hold them. No, no. Slay them. Sandra Bland. Slay them. When they choked the hell out, um, uh, 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 what's that, Eric Gardner. Slay them. They slay us, and what happened to the cop that did it? And hold themselves not guilty. Not guilty. Read. 
and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Read. For I am rich. God bless America. So who's saying God bless America? Our oppressors. 